Hallelujah to Jesus. We bless the name of the Lord for another wonderful day that he has given unto us. This morning, by the authority of the word of the living God and by the power that is in his word, I hold your hands together into his presence. And today I pray that may Psalm 27 verse 1, which declares that the Lord is my revelation, the light to guide me along the way. He is the source of my salvation to defend me in every day. I fear no one. I will never turn my back nor run. He will never turn his back nor run away from me. Lord, you surround me and you protect me. Today, may the Lord surround you and protect you. May the Lord surround your family and protect your family. May the Lord surround everything that concerns you and pertains to you. May he surround you with his grace. I pray for you this very morning according to the prophetic word of God in Psalm 91 verse 1 and 2 where he declared that whoever goes to the Lord for safety, whoever remains under the protection of the Almighty can say to him, you are my defender, my protector, you are my God and you I trust. Hallelujah. I pray that this morning may you have trust in the Lord. May you have your anchor in him. May you know that he is your security. He is your surety of life. He is your apex and the mementos of your grace. He is the overshadowed favor of your life. I pray for you according to his word in Psalm 27, 1 and 3. He said, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold. He is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked advance against me to devour me, it is, it is my enemies and my foes who will stumble and they will fall. Though an army besiege me, my heart shall not fear. Though war broke, break out against me, even then will I be confident. Whatever the enemy will orchestrate against your life this morning, it shall never work against you. Because whatever they have visited, whatever they have planned, whatever they have initiated, any machination of the enemy, any orchestration of the enemy, any maneuvers of the enemy, any ostracization of the enemy concerning your life, it shall never advance towards you. Because it is always your foes and your enemies who will fall. They will stumble before you. I pray that in your workplace, anything that will rise up against you, may they stumble. Any man or woman that will rise up against your advancement, against the advancement of any project that you have envisaged, against your advancement in life, against your promotion in life, against your security in life, against your healing in life. I pray that may the hand of the Lord cause every enemy to stumble before you. Any war that will rage against you, may the Lord break against them and may you always receive safety. I pray by the hand of the Lord that as David declared in Psalm, 50, Psalm 5 verse 11, he said, but make every make me rejoice and let me put your tra my trust in you. Keep me for shouting for joy because you will always defend me. Fill all those that love me with happiness and fill all the works of my hands with gladness. Today I pray that happiness will be your portion. Gladness will speak for you. In the walls of your habitation, the Lord will cause joy into your marriage. God will cause joy into every fruitfulness of your life. May the Lord encamp around you this day. Note that this day the Lord is your defender. Because David said in Psalm 52, 5 to 7, he said, The Lord will defend me alone. I will put my trust in him. He alone will protect me and he will save me. He is my defender and I shall never be defeated. Salvation and honor depends on my God for he is a strong protector and he is my shelter. Today know that the Lord will protect you. He will shelter you against every disease, every infirmity and every calamity. May the Lord keep you and watch over you this day. In Jesus' name we have prayed. This is Apostle Dr. Jerry Otten from Global Harvest Ministries. Remember, you are a property of the Holy Ghost. Satan, back off. In Jesus' name, amen.